let me introduce uh, from the extreme right, uh, Patricia, Patricia Okumu, uh, Elaine, and then Emma, and lastly Patrick. And like the MC said, I would wish this forum to be for celebrating their life. Uh, I would start by just giving the best memories. Uh, Mom was a very unique person. I think she was the best spokesperson. I remember that time when they were moving with, she just called him KB. In the, in the phone, she said as KB, doctor. So she would say KB. They, they moved across the country from the north to the east, the south to the west. But what I remember about her, she would give uh, a take to the journalists. She would give take one in English, take two in Uganda. If they are in the West Nile, take three in, in uh, Lukbara. If they are in the east, she would give take four in Ateso. If they are in Usoga, she would give take five in Usoga. If they are in uh, uh, the border, uh, Busia, she would give a take in Busia, she would give a take in Lunyakore, she would give a take in Luchiga. So I would like to appreciate her for that. She was, she was speaking over seven, seven languages and fluently and in their accents. Uh, secondly, she had a very, very, I think she was very intelligent. I remember when she, 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 she lost her phone and she got a new phone, uh, the last phone she had. She, I, I think the only people she saved in that phone about five contacts. But whenever someone would call, she would just read and say, uh, maybe this is Waf, we should call you Waf. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is Amoriat. She would call you Amoriat. I'll, I'll refer to you by the name she would call you by. So she was, she was very intelligent. If you look in that phone, most of the contacts are not saved. But she knew, she knew the contact. When you would call and say, I want to pay for water, maybe one of one of the places she had, she would be like, oh, okay, that meter number is this, 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 this. <laughs> Off head. That's how brilliant she was. She had a bunch of keys in her car, and uh, in case maybe a tenant lost some keys, and they would come home struggling, and they're like, I need a replacement for the keys. She would just get the bunch. Sort like this, then pick out the key and without testing in the lock, then she'll give, <laughs> she'll, give, she'll give the tenant their key and they will never come back saying that the key didn't work. So I think she was very brilliant. The earliest memory I know of her, she, she, she likes the youth. She was very instrumental in starting up. There's a club in Chereka called Chereka United. So all the, we were still young by that time, we don't understand. Should bring balls, should bring bags. People would be asking her, but now, sir, why are you investing in this? And she was not getting anything. She was not getting paid. I think that's where I also got my, my love for soccer. And when I was, I was, I would, I would like to call it maybe a soccer career, because it went a bit far, but not so far for me <laughs> to reach the TV. So that time I would, I would pick a car and be like, I, I have, I have, I have a, a game. In the media and TV. She'd be like, at you now. Then eventually she'll give you the car. And I'll fit the car with 11 players. <laughs> I would fill the car to the brim. But when I'll come back, she'll, she'll never complain. She'll be like, okay, yes, yes, yes. So I think let's celebrate her life. She was a very wonderful individual, she was very outspoken. I don't know if I, I can match her level of, um, of speaking. She was very articulate and focused. When she said she wanted something, whatever you do, she would not change. When she was sick, she would set times to see the doctor. If she said, I'm seeing the doctor on Friday, even if she's badly off on Thursday, you cannot take her out of the house. She will move out on Friday. She said, okay, yes, let's go. Let's see the doctor. Because it's what she had in her mind. 
So I thank God for our life and I pray. Uh, I know she's in a better place. She's in a better place. And I pray that uh, the speakers that come after, I, I, spoke, I spoke to the different speakers and I asked them to, uh, this is a human moment. It's something that happens to a human being, irrespective of, of the category where you come from, uh, not uh, mother's side, uh, father's side, uh, Katonga, National <laughs> Kumbi. <laughs> we, are, we are basically humans. So let's, let's do this as humanly as possible, so that even when she sees us from the sky, she's, she's proud of us, because I'm sure this is what she wanted. Let's not cry. I think I've become now brave enough. I don't know if I can continue speaking. Do I have... Am I limited by the minute? Yeah, I think she should be proud. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank uh, everyone that has showed up today. You have kept us strong. I started when I was shaking, now I can speak. Uh, individually, I would like to thank... Let me start from this side. Uh, Poa, I told you she used to refer to you as Amriat, uh, the earliest memory. But I remember when, when she, she, she had a slight accident with her foot and you used to send the car to come and pick her and you'd send your driver. So I appreciate you for that. And you. Uh, the Lord Mayor, uh, you'd talk on phone, she used to speak good about you from the times of, uh, of uh, uh, Sevagala till that, that, that DP period, the transitional period. I try to avoid going into politics because maybe I'm not built for politics, but I cannot avoid it. I'm in the family of politics. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Waf, uh, you had, you had uh, a very strong relationship with her. Honorable uh, Tumi Juche, yesterday, you had, you had what you had to say. And then, first I'll apologize if I miss anyone, because I want to close. Yeah. Uh, lastly, I would uh, like to close by thanking Kemi. You don't want to to call him Kemi. Please do not call him Kemi. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support and the moral mostly the moral support that, that you gave her, even during her last, her last days. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you so much, dear mourners, for coming to be with us during this time when we are sending off our dear sister, Sarah Dupero. I'll briefly introduce the few siblings that are around, because we are a bigger family. But I'll introduce the ones around. On my, on my right is Susan Dupero, followed by Ben Peru. Then we have Lydia Kabuye Peru. And then we have Andrew Ewumu Peru. We have Patrick Oman and Harriet. Um, Veronica Oman and Stephen. And we are all Sarah's brothers and sisters. Sarah was our elder sister. Before her, we had two other elder, an elder sister and brother who passed on as well. So at this moment, she was the pillar, the anchor, the hair, and the head of the family. We would like to thank you all for supporting her through her sickness until now. 
I'm a very emotional person. I don't know why the family chose for me to be here, but I learned that I must say this speech this morning. I didn't want to let anyone down. I chose to structure it. Sarah, as an individual, was not only a sister to us, but she was a sister to so many other people. Like you had before, Sarah had paternal sisters and brothers, we, and had maternal sisters and brothers, the cousins. Until we grew up, we had no idea what the difference was. And through her, she held all of us together. And we thank her for that. She picked us up from school. She fed us in the hardest of times. We were all born in Naguru. That's why we chose this church. We were all born in Naguru quarters. And we were all baptized in this church. For us, our patron saint is Saint Jude. And has always been. So when I came to ask the priests here, of course they know me, to allow us to be here with our sister to celebrate her last year. <coughs> They knew more than I did, and they welcomed us more because this is where our dad started his spiritual life, and this is through this church that he taught us, all of us, our spiritual life. Our dad was a seminarian initially, for those who don't know, before he got into school to study and went to become a journalist. He is the one who inspired Sarah for the longest become a journalist. So for as long as Daddy was still working at the Ministry of uh, Information and Broadcasting, and Sarah, as a young girl, graduated from the IPA, that's the Institute of Public Administration in Journalism, she joined Papa Perry. And that's where she started working. But she was very much like him. <laughs> he was a loyal person. She has been a very loyal person for her cause. Her cause was being family political. Her cause being family. We had a few conversations a few times. Issues across a few things. Not just political, spiritual, and family. Sarah was so painfully loyal that when you did a cost-benefit analysis of her physical life and her input in whatever she believed in, there seemed an imbalance. So we used to talk. So a few times I would say to her, hey, sister, how about you do something else? Because she woke up in the morning just fixed on one thing, to build her homes, her houses for her children, to cook for her children, and to serve if they say. With or without money. But she never, never for one single day Showed any level of anxiety or <coughs> felt like she wasn't in the right place. She was very, very content with everything that she did to this time. She believed in the party that she worked for and she believed in everybody. Uh,
I won't take so much time, but I would like to thank everybody who has contributed, who has loved Sarah. We know them. Everybody who has loved Sarah dearly. We were not so close to her like the people she worked with. Marcos has mentioned all of you. Sarah has so many children. She loved her children. My only request to everybody is please take care of her kids. She lived her life for everyone but her kids. Thank you, my dear, our dear sisters, as they have been called from the maternal side. Thank you so much for the support and the will for being there for your sister, for everyone. Thank you so much for the solidarity that has kept on and has kept her way. Thank you for accepting us.